Welcome, everyone, to the Learning Loop Podcast, your best source for educational insights and trends. I'm Chris, your host. And I'm Dina. Today, we are taking a deep dive into 10 creative ways to increase family engagement. We're focusing on solving the age-old question, how was school? Yeah. <laughs> More often than not, I get the blank stare. Um, fine, it was okay. Exactly. We're trying to reverse that. We're trying to focus on practical ways that actually boost family engagement, going a step beyond just informing families. And get this, Seesaw is the perfect solution for this problem. It's like a secret weapon you never knew you needed. What's so fascinating about Seesaw is that it's not just another app. It's about transforming the entire dynamic between home and school. Yeah. And it's about moving beyond simply knowing like what your child did to really understanding their progress and feeling empowered to supporting their learning journey. Okay, let's unpack that. Today, we're diving into 10 creative ways to supercharge family engagement using Seesaw. The first five will fall into the category of classics reinvented. We're talking about those tried and true methods of communication and connection, but with a digital upgrade. Yeah, and what's key here is the idea of visibility. Seesaw bridges that gap between home and the classroom in a way that traditional methods simply can't. Exactly. Let's take sharing student work, for example. Remember those days of deciphering crumpled worksheets at the bottom of a backpack? Oh, yeah. With Seesaw, kids aren't just completing assignments. They're curating their learning journey using technology to create and capture their thinking process. And it's not just about showcasing finished products. Imagine being able to see your child's progress in math, not just through grades, but through actual photos of their problem-solving strategies, like voice recordings of them explaining their thinking, oh, yeah. and even videos of them collaborating with classmates on a project. Oh, yeah, talk about bringing learning to life. Right? And think about the conversations that you could spark at home. Exactly. It's not just that you did your homework. It's, wow, tell me more about this thing that you did. Absolutely. And that leads us to our next reinvented classic, the class newsletter. Yes. I remember when those used to be like a staple in my kids' backpacks, usually ending up buried under permission slips and artwork. Right. Or in my case, the kitchen counter black hole. <laughs> yep. But with Seesaw, everything is streamlined. Oh, yeah. All in one accessible place. Exactly. No more missed memos. Right? And while we're on the topic of, of connection, how about this one? Digital greeting cards and selfies. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical about this one at first, but then I thought about it. In a world where kids are growing up with technology... Why not use it to create those heartwarming keepsakes? Yeah, it's like the digital equivalent of those precious handprint art projects we all cherish. Yes. But with the tech-savvy twist. And speaking of bringing back those heartwarming memories, number four on our list is another classic, reading fluency passages. Does anyone else have flashbacks to practicing for their one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher? Oh, yeah. But instead of that pressure cooker situation, imagine being able to listen in as your child's fluency naturally progresses over time through recordings on Seesaw. And it's not just about that single moment with the teacher. Right. Teachers can use Seesaw to provide specific feedback and encouragement on those recordings over time. <laughs> it truly creates a collaborative learning experience. And I love how it shifts the dynamic from evaluation to ongoing support and encouragement. Absolutely. And rounding out this final first set of classics reinvented, we have setting and sharing goals. Yes. But we're not talking about those once a year beginning of the school year goals. Seesaw allows for ongoing goal setting and tracking with students, teachers, and families all on the same page, working together to support the child's progress. Yes. It's about moving away from that report card surprise and towards constant communication and support. It sounds like it takes the guesswork out of it for everyone. It really does. So we've covered how Seesaw breathes new life into those classic methods of communication and connection, but here's where it gets really interesting. Seesaw also dives into what it calls next-level engagement strategies. 
Yep. And these next few ideas really highlight how Seesaw can fundamentally change the game when it comes to family engagement. All right, let's dive in. Let's do it. Tip number six is cleverly called the cliffhanger technique. I honestly wish that more teachers did this when I was a kid. It's brilliant. Really think about how captivated kids are by a good cliffhanger, like in a movie or a book. Right. They cannot wait to find out what happens next. Seesaw lets teachers tap into that same excitement for learning. It's like instead of sending home a notice about an upcoming science unit on electricity, the teacher posts a photo on Seesaw of a mysterious contraption with wires and circuits captioned, get ready for electrifying next week. It sparks curiosity, not just in the students, but also in the parents. Suddenly, you have families engaging in conversations about electricity and making predictions, maybe even doing some research on their own. Okay, I'm already seeing how this is next level. Yes. And it plays perfectly into tip number seven, which is all about fostering genuine dialogue between home and school. Yeah, and what's fascinating about this is that Seesaw provides a dedicated space for those conversations to actually happen organically. And it's not just about sending emails into the void and hoping for a response. Parents and teachers can engage in meaningful back and forth directly within the platform, all in a way that's organized and easy to follow. Right. No more digging through these endless email chains. Exactly. Okay, number eight on our list might seem deceptively simple, but it's all about the power of comments. Yes, and this is where Seesaw can really shine. A well-placed comment from a teacher can spark so much more engagement than just sending home a completed assignment. I'm picturing this, uh, instead of just seeing a worksheet on fractions, I see a comment on from my child's teacher, something like, Ask your child to teach you how to solve problem number three using snack crackers. I love that example. It's engaging, it's relevant to a child's world, and it empowers them to take ownership of their learning. Absolutely. Okay, are you ready for my personal favorite? Yes, let's hear it. All right, tip number nine is all about making learning a fun family affair. All right. So Family Game Night Seesaw Edition. Oh, I am here for it. Tell me more. All right. So this is where Seesaw's versatility really shines. Okay. So teachers can create interactive games and activities related to what the kids are learning in class and families can participate together at home. So instead of just asking your child what they learned about in the solar system, you could be on like a virtual scavenger hunt through Seesaw exploring planets and constellations together. Exactly. It takes learning out of the textbook and makes it an immersive shared experience. To round out our list of 10 creative ideas, tip number 10 reminds us that communication should be a two-way street. It's about empowering those kids to drive the conversation too, right? Exactly. Don't just send the information home. Yes. Encourage kids to use Seesaw to request photos, stories, or information from their families. So, for example, if they're learning about different cultures in class, they could ask family members to share stories about their heritage or traditions through Seesaw. I love that. It's about bringing those real-world connections into the learning process. Exactly. You know what's striking me about all these ideas is how they really do shift the focus from simply being informed to actually being engaged. Right? It's not just about knowing what your child did, but really understanding their progress and supporting their learning in a more meaningful way. This isn't about adding more work to anyone's plate. It's actually about making existing efforts more effective and engaging. And it's about leveraging technology to create stronger bridges between home and school. Yeah, and the best part is it actually seems to be working. It does, yeah. Seesaw mentioned that a whopping 96% of teachers find Seesaw helpful for boosting family engagement. 96%. Wow, that's incredible. It's not just some theoretical concept. It's actually making a real difference in classrooms. It is, and that's what makes this so exciting. Yeah, that's about working smarter, not harder. Yep, and it all comes back to that idea of partnership. Parents, teachers, and students all working together, all on the same page. And when that happens, the possibilities for learning are truly limitless. You know, when we started this deep dive feeling like we're staring in a black hole of, hey, what happened in school today? I don't really know. 
Now you've got a whole toolkit of really creative strategies to boost family engagement, all things to Seesaw. Yep, and it's not just about having the tools, right? It's about embracing a new mindset, a mindset where learning isn't confined to the classroom, but spills over into the home and beyond. So here's a final thought-provoking question for you to ponder as you head out into the world freshly equipped with these 10 creative ideas. If 96% of teachers are seeing the benefits of Seesaw, What possibility does that open up for you in your family engagement experience this year? And what kind of positive changes could you spark by embracing a more connected, collaborative approach to learning? Keep those questions in mind, and we'll see you next time for another deep dive.